Hey everybody, last week I did the gear oil on the bottom end, this week I'm going to do the motor oil on the top end. It's a 150 Pro XS 4 stroke 2019, I do it every year myself, this is the third year doing this boat. It's cool, the newer Mercury's they actually have this, there's a QR code here if you want to get more information, but it does give you the basics on here, so once a year you want to do your engine oil, gear case we did last week. Um, and inspect a bunch of stuff, spark plugs, thermostat, uh, fuel filter. I replace the fuel filter every year even though it says that that might be more infrequent. Um, yeah, so that's basically what we're going to do. Now I, I'm not at 300 hours yet, I'm probably at 200 and change. So I might run one more summer. It says every three years, uh, accessory drive belt, replace the plugs. I already did the plugs last year because I'm a little bit silly on that. and. Uh, water pump impeller and I'm going to do another video on that shortly. It's going to be my first time doing it so it should be entertaining watching me curse and swear and stuff. But uh, this week anyway is the oil change. Oil change is straightforward. Let's get into it. Okay, here's the, uh, here's the stuff you're pretty much going to need. I use rubber latex gloves whenever I do oil changes on anything. They're really cool because it saves your hands. need a filter. Um, I, I keep a little ledger with all the part numbers. It's good, it's handy to keep then every year you're not searching around for it. Fuel filter, this motor six liters of oil. That's the inline low pressure fuel filter that I'm gonna use, replace as well today. Two other things that are gonna come in handy is you're gonna need something to drain the oil in too. Probably a funnel and uh, 7 16 inside diameter, diameter hose. And I'll show you what this is for in a minute. I actually have two pieces of it here. You can get away with one. But let's head over to the motor and check it out. So the first thing you're going to do on this is take the top cap off, just so there's no back pressure. There shouldn't be anyway, really. But all right. And then we're going to take an 11 60, uh, sorry, a 5 8 in my case here. Now what they tell you to do is this little nut here, this is the, the drain plug. Turn it about a quarter turn or so. And try and get it just where the oil is about to start coming out. And you'll see why in a minute. They say about a quarter to a half a turn, crank it open. Okay, so the second step you're going to do is you're going to hook up the hose. Okay, slide your hose onto there, okay, you're going to make sure that this goes down into here and then you're going to crank it open until the oil starts coming out here. And you don't want this to come right out. Okay, there we go, so let that drain. The idea was not to crack it until it dripped out. That was dumb. But anyway, you just let it drain out now. All right, now we wait. Okay, so the next thing we'll do, there's a little plug on the bottom here. And it's kind of cool because they actually put a catch pan under the oil filter so that when you take the oil filter off, just like the bottom end, you can hook a hose on here down to the drain pan and anything that spills out of here when you knock this off is going to go down into the pan. So let's get that set up. Okay, let's take this, shove that on there. Make sure that's snug. Now the oil's draining out the bottom end into the pan. We're going to take the oil filter off. Any excess should go into the second hose that will also drain into the pan. Let's pop this puppy off. And I believe it'll be counterclockwise. All right, it's nice and easy because it's going to start leaking out here.
Okay, it's already drained out. So perfect. Put this over here with our used uh, stuff. I'm going to do a trip to the dump soon. All right. Okay, so if you drain the bottom out first, you'll notice very little actually comes into here. So we're going to wipe this all down. All right. Wipe out in here. There wasn't much at all, so that's good. And take this off now. Okay, everything's good. So that there is almost, that's still draining, but it's getting there. Okay, let's replace the oil filter now. Everything else looks clean here. All right, here's the new filter. I've got some new oil here to seal it. The last filter was white. This one's an actual mercury filter. They're both made by Mercury. Quicksilver is sort of their generic brand. All right, nice clean oil on there. Let's stick it on, hand tighten it. Okay, the oil filter is back on now. It's still draining out as you can see down here. It's probably going to take a few more minutes. Six liters is, has to come out and this stuff here looks pretty... I run it all summer and I change it every year. It gets really dark. Other than that, no, no water looking in there or anything. So while we're waiting for that, let's do the fuel filter. This is your inline fuel filter right here. So there's a... Uh, a line that goes on the top of it that you got to pop off but first so take see the arrow pop it like that and up you come so see the red tab on the front here push that in and it'll pop this right off Okay, and on the bottom, there should also be a line. Let's tuck that out of the way. Yeah, so we got that same tab on the bottom here. And you know, keep, keep note of it, it's upside down with the wire, wider part. Oh, that was good. Forgot to tell you, there should, there's going to be fuel in there. All right, and always take your old part, put it next to your new one. I change this out once a year. It's more of an inspect thing, but you can see there's a difference. So it mounts like this. So we'll take the new one. So we're gonna snap the fuel filter back into the bottom one. There you are. And you'll know when it's in, it snaps. Okay, we're gonna put the puller on top like that, and then we'll snap the top back on. Beauty. Okay, and now we'll slide it all back in. And there you go. And then take a rag and try to wipe up. It's hard to get your fingers in here. Some of this motor is beautifully accessible and some of it's really not accessible. Anything below here, you don't want to drop stuff down there where you're getting into a whole world of hurt trying to get it out. Okay. So a few filters snapped on, everything's done. How's the oil doing? Right. So once your oil's done draining out, you're going to take this, you're going to retighten this as best as you can. Mm. 
actually done draining, so I'll take that out. Okay, we're gonna twist this until this is back on. And there we go. And that's it. New filter, new fuel filter. Now it's not unusual the first time you go out, if you do spill a bit of oil, you'll see a little bit of that gasoline rainbow in the water. If anything gets down in there, that's what happens, but it shouldn't last long. If it lasts long, then you got another problem. And that's it, now we're ready to fill her up. All right, here we go. So you're, just make sure your plugs are all tightened back up and then start filling. We'll replace the cap. And that's that. Okay, now the only thing left we gotta do is check the dipstick. All right, so it should be in this zone. Let's stick this in. And look at that, two thirds of the way up the zone. Perfect. And that's it folks, make sure you uh, dispose of everything properly at the landfill. Um, and that's it, I, I take the, uh, the oil that came out, I put it back in the jugs. Um, you do that once a year, your motor's gonna go for like a kitten for a while, the way they build these things. So thanks a lot for watching. I, uh, in two weeks I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to impeller if you want a lot of entertainment i'd tune in for that one catch you later